nice stack. See? This is my setup I wanted to show you. I keep it in this old jelly jar, all the oil. This is not filled up, obviously. And then I just pour it in here. I've been using it regularly. You can see those filters it needs to be replaced because it's got a bunch of gunk in it. As you can tell, it is very dirty in there. It needs to be cleaned out. That's all the stuff coming out of the freeze dryer. What you doing? Comes right out of there. I'm gonna wipe all that out because that's gross. It probably isn't really necessary because this is the can top part of the filter. Hey, can I have some gummies? No. So we're gonna take a filter. This is just a plain coffee filter. These are unbleached kind that we let, prefer to use when we're camping. So we're gonna put that down in here. First, we're going to fill it up with these little face rounds, cotton rounds. We're gonna make them into a nice stack. You got some milk on you? That doesn't yeah. make any sense. Okay. I'm trying to get it all the way in there wedged really well. And that's okay. The oil can still seep through. It'll get filtered. <sighs> if you wedge it down really in there, then the oil can definitely get filtered through there because it's it's stuck on all sides. Some people use a paper or a toilet. Oil. Some people use a toilet paper roll and pull out the center and twist it, but this I way, like oil. this way works as well. Well, 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 well. This way, Hey. Just to get some extra layers in there. All right, so now that I've shown you how the oil filter works, we're going to go ahead and show you how the oil change works. This does not belong up here. I bring it all the way to the edge where this black part is. And then I have just a regular piece of wood that we had in our garage to one by two. And I lift it up and put it under the feet. Whoop. Put it under the feet right there so it can be at a tilting angle to go down. I like to start it up here. There's no real need to though. I want to have it more this way because as it drains, it goes in a little bit more. So you want to make sure you have it as close as you can to this part. I try not to touch it to the wood because there is oil right here where the, the oil was poured from earlier. So there are going to be some drops there. I don't want that getting on my furniture. Open up the top here while we're waiting for that to drain. And there's this little gasket here that kind of pops off a little bit. And I like to push this down for when it's time to put it back in there. So it's all nice and even. I don't know if that's required, but I thought it would be better to do that. Always be sure to have paper towels handy because you're gonna get oil all over everything. Mainly your fingers oil changing kit. Really just a piece of Tupperware, a paper towel on the bottom because this thing when you put it in here, this is a funnel. I just got this on Amazon. I'll put a link below on the one I got but it has a little filter in there just in case something gets in there it'll catch it and then it's got a little dent right here so the air can get through in case there's any air stuck in there. 
So I just put that in here so the oil can drain into the paper towel and catch it and not be all gross in the bottom. This is the lid to the Brita filter, the Brita filter right there. I never put the lid on the Brita filter. I just stick it under my cabinet and put the lock on it for the kids. It will not overflow this top part here, so I wouldn't worry about that. So having this sit here and drain, it's just not a big deal because it's already going to be waiting for the freeze dryer to melt. There we go. Okay. So now that we have that all done, this is just a wooden end table, so I don't really want to get oil all over it, so I always try to get the valve real clean. That's how full it is. And nothing's come through the bottom yet because it's still a new filter, so it's going to take a little while. So way down here, out of the way, add the oil. You put the filter in. Now it does hit up against this part, so you do have to just put it in there as best you can at an angle, but it does just fine. And get your paper towel ready. I keep throwing it away. Get your paper towel ready. You can use the same one throughout this whole process. Screw that on too tightly, make a big old mess. Some people like to freeze their oil. I don't see any kind of contaminants in here, but if there were little water droplets floating in the bottom or any kind of chunks or anything like that, I would put this whole jar in the freezer and then I would dump the oil into another container and then clean out the bottom of this jar of all the contaminants. And just dump that in the trash can with a paper towel. But anyway, there's none this time, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump it in here. Make sure the valve is closed. While I'm dumping this, I am also looking at the front for whenever the line of oil comes up. So I just turned it on and drained out and I thought I was recording, but I drained out enough until it came down and just drained slowly, 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 but I keep it right here. It's kind of hard to see, but where the line is, it curves up on the edges and that's where I keep it right there at the line. That's where you're supposed to keep it. But I try not to overfill it. If you do have it slightly overfilled, I heard that the oil can get back into the machine and cause your food to come out tasting oily. So do be careful to make sure you don't overfill it. And now I'm having to dab that again because I had to drain some out. But I just drained it into my handy dandy oil collector and slash filter. So before I used this piece of wood to prop up the machine, so I grabbed what I could that was in the office and that happened to be these two books. So I just put these books here and I do the same thing. I lift it up and make sure that these these little rubber feet are on top of the book in order to hold it up at the right angle that I needed it to be. So that's about the thickness that I was that I was using in this piece of wood kind of that doesn't match exactly but just enough to get it propped up to get all the oil out of there. So if you don't have this you can just improvise. There's lots of stuff probably around your house that you could find that you just don't realize you have but you can use really anything to prop it up. That way you don't have to stand here and wait for it to drain because as you saw, it, take, it takes a little bit of time. Please put a comment below with any questions you may have or topics you would like me to cover on the Harvest Right freeze dryer.